Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the Fracture 4.0 script. I'm um, going to do it on a, a more complex object other than a box or a sphere or any primitives. So I created this column. Um, so let's start up the script and you'll get your UI, everything. So the first thing I usually do is preview the cutting plane. Um, this way you can see the size of the faces, la la la, and the amount of noise. So let's set this back to 40 and set the noise to about 10. Um, so one feature I've added is being able to fracture um, at a certain location. So if you adjust the position and rotation of this, the cutting plane, you can you can force preview as the cutting plane and hit fracture, and you will see that it has cut it where we where the fracture plane was located. Um, we're getting a little little hole there but that's you can I'll show you how to fix that later um, so let's fracture the top of this um, we'll keep the same settings and we'll do 20 iterations on it so now we're getting a lot more holes because we're doing a lot more fractures so to the way to get around this is to triangulate the mesh um, and so we'll turn the triangulate on and hit the, the try again and now you will see that we got a lot more cleaner fractures um, so let's undo all that for now so there's also another option is to turn the noise all the way down to zero and when you fracture it you should get really clean cuts no matter what um, without triangulation so you'll see that pretty clean cuts throughout the whole mesh um, so that is a quick overview of how to use this fracture. Um, there's other things you can do. Um, I've created this little column script for me. So create a column, finalize it. We got ourselves a column. You can also download that off a of Creative Crash. Um, there's also this fracture area bias. Um, if you turn it on and you have the preview cutting plane on, you can basically control where it's going to go. And so we'll turn the face size really high so we only get one face per cut. And we will hit the fracture. And what it will do is it will fracture above or below the cutting plane so that's another way to cut in certain areas um, you can change the name of the, the chunks if you look at the name you'll see that they're fractured chunks blah 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 you can actually create it in a group so let's uh, turn on that and we'll fracture this times and now you will see that you have a group of your chunks um, there's the autofill holes which is recommended that will that will basically if we create a cube we a face and it will automatically fill that hole when we run the fracture so that way some holes if you've missed it will automatically fill in those holes for you um, it's good to have on 
anyways uh, separate unseparated chunks is good to have on sometimes when you fracture with the noise it'll create a uh, geometry that is separate that has a hole it right in between it so it will automatically separate this into multiple meshes um, you can also delete chunks smaller than a certain percent of the object if you don't want really small pieces uh, alright so that's that's pretty much the fracture part